I recently just had a former NBA number one draft pick, uh, Andrew Bogut, on my show. He's living back in Australia, very, very outspoken towards the government, pushing back. They're, they're taking him down left, right and centre, uh, trying to stop him. But, you know, he just keeps on going and going and going. Um, and we were talking about sport and how that's nearly become politicised as well. And there's so many different agendas that get push through the sport and he said I just want to watch sport for what it is and you know if people um you know the, the players then can go and do what they want to do you know outside of their sport and outside the environment but the sports are now being used or the entertainment to push these agendas do you see it that way as well well you know athletes conscious athletes have always been involved in politics but what you're seeing now is not those kinds of athletes those athletes were fighting against injustice these athletes don't fight against anything. They have no moral compass. They have no focus about what the real world is about. That's why they always fall victim to the race narrative. Oh, racism. No, 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 no. That's not what this is about. This is about you dialing in and understand that these people, these tyrannical people around the world want to strip us of our humanity. And I haven't seen one athlete standing, sitting on, I look, I think there's some of them that stood up, like Kyrie Irving. I'm proud of him. Um, there are some of them that said they were not going to take the experiment of biologic. That's great. That's their right. But what you're seeing now in a new athlete is a shell of what they were when I was growing up. Muhammad Ali, you know, Joe Frazier, you know, all of these guys. And look at Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. We once thought he was a radical thinker. He has, succ he has really succumbed to this tyrannical messaging that suggests that if we don't want to take an experiment of biologic, we should lose our job. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So it's really something, I talk about this all the time, that the modern day athlete, the modern day um, artist, the modern day actress or actor, they've all been captured. They really don't have any value. And anybody that can't stand up for human rights, you know, outside of the, what they're told to stand up for, we should not be listening to them. I think we should close our ears off to them. If they're not in this public square fighting for us and fighting for our children and fighting for freedom, global freedom, they're useless to us. These athletes have been purchased. Look, majority of the black athletes of the NBA are owned by China. I mean, come on. I mean, really, at the end of the day, we shouldn't be listening to them because what do they really represent? They represent nothing. But they can always fall back on the race issue or Black Lives Matter, which I always thought was a Coca-Cola commercial. I don't even understand that. Black Americans are not monolithic. So when you hear these athletes talk, I'm trying to tell everybody in the world, if they're not saying that we're here to fight and stand up against stand for humanity, stop listening to them. They're just, a, they're just athletes at this point. So, I mean, and we might have a few of them out there. We need to stand with them and support them. But the rest of them, they're jokes. I don't, I don't, I don't value anything they say.